Between the tantrums and the chaos in the kitchen, what do you mean? It seems that we may be losing control. Okay, but I'm glad you're listening, and I'm glad you're not crying anymore. Once Nanny Stella got David to calm down, she rejoined us at dinner where the chaos continued. And with only a day left till Mom and Dad come home, the situation was dire. But then something amazing happened. Can everybody please listen? This is a hunter. The way things are going on, I appreciate the older boys being acting like Mom and Dad were here. You know, not screaming. You guys who are doing what you're supposed to be doing, you know you wouldn't be acting like that if Mom and Dad were here. This manipulates their bananas. That's really not cool because they're really nice. It got emotional. Hunter had come to our defense and stepped up as the responsible older brother. We were all teary-eyed because it was so touching. I think that he needs to say sorry to the nanny. Hunter's speech made an impact because the next day the boys woke up eager to cooperate and excited that it was the day Jim and Anne were coming home. The boys were filled with ideas about how to make Mom and Dad's homecoming special. Starting with making a collage. Justin, you want to do your handprint for Mommy and Daddy? Okay, let me pick a colour. It was a really, really fun project that brought in the three roles of sharing, patience, and chipping in, helping each other out. Big, big pucker up. The kids have done such a marvellous job. We were going to reward them with some team jerseys because we really felt that we had instilled a really strong team spirit amongst the boys. Okay, where's Val? Where's Val? Where's Michael? They each got a rugby shirt with Team Silcock on the back. As the time drew closer to Mom and Dad coming home, Nanny Stella, Nanny Yvonne and I sort of rubbed in all the boys and got them out to the front and lined them all up. The boys were smiling and they couldn't wait to see their parents. The count looks like they're all Let me still see how many are there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It looks like everybody's here. The energy was very high. The band had barely stopped before the boys started running to see their mom and dad. Good to be back, guys. My week is here. I miss you too. Yeah. I thought about how important it was for my kids to know that when I say I'm going away and I say I'm coming back, that I follow through. They were excited to see us, hug us, and then they had the big project that they wanted to share with us. Yeah. Oh. Cool or what? They had assembled that poster board with all the I love you daddy, thank you mommy, and it's just off. Oh, hit you where it should, it makes you proud of what you do. There we'll have to frame that. Now that Jim and Anne are home, I hope the boys can show them just how far Team Silcock has come in only a few short days. That night at dinner, mom and dad thought that they were going to do what they'd always done, prepare dinner and, you know, be the directors of, uh, of the evening meal and actually the children took over. They actually ran dinner. Guys, there's nothing left for me to do. You're doing everything. Thank you so much. Did the nannies teach you how to help? The children who always slipped through the cracks, who were the ones that you had to ask four or five times to set the table, are now the first or second in line to set the table. And I think that Anne and Jim noticed that and were very impressed. Very nice. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. When's the last time you sat down at the table and had dinner? I don't think I've ever sat at these tables for dinner. This is better, isn't it? I'm kind of starting to like this. By letting go just a little, Anne and Jim realized that if given a chance, their boys are eager to become responsible young men. And before we say goodbye, we had one more little gift that we hoped would continue to help these amazing parents. It is time for us to leave. One thing we would like to tell you is that we really have been educated ourselves this week whilst we've been here. Um, it's normally our job to teach people what to do, but you've definitely taught us a few tricks. We'd like you to have this. This is our nanny 911 book that you might just find a little bit useful in places. It has your phone number and direct line. <laughs> thank you so much. Definitely. All right. Thank you again for everything. We were actually getting ready to leave, and 
was surprised. The boys had planned this wonderful surprise and written us our very own song. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> And they'd written the song themselves, and it was just the most beautiful song. I was blown away. The children's performance of this special song got very emotional. Um, at one point I looked up and Matthew was crying, as was Michael, and that really just pulled at my heartstrings. This was a huge surprise and it was probably the most touching event that's ever happened to me. It was wonderful. I learned that other people can take care of my kids for a short period of time and it's important that we get some separation as part of the, the growth process. I feel very proud of my guys to be able to take direction from total strangers and to have a little fun with it, to make it turn out a win-win for both sides. And it was time to say goodbye. Nanny Deb, Nanny Stella and I said goodbye to the boys individually. Oh, I'm gonna miss you this experience has totally blown me away. You're so cut boys. They've humbled me. You made it absolute like phenomenal. So much I promise you I wasn't gonna cry. Yeah, there is no way you can be in that house for more than an hour and not completely fall in love with every single child in that family. Thank you so much for letting us play a part in your family. I've learned that um, no matter how many times somebody knocks you down or tries to tell you that you are not good enough or you are disabled, you're not. Because no matter what parts of your body don't work, as long as your heart and your mind are functioning, you're never disabled. Wow, look at this, honey. Dear Silcock family, thank you so much for allowing us into your lives and for putting so much trust in Nanny 911. Team Silcock is truly the most loving family that has ever invited us into their home. And to Mom and Dad, we couldn't be happier to give you the honeymoon that you truly deserve. Love Nanny Deb, Nanny Yvonne, and Nanny Stella, your nannies always.